Jesse B with Pop the Trunk Toys, and today we are featuring a long anticipated, very rough gain, Major Blood. Now, this Major Blood is a very special blood because it was given to me by some special brothers, and I do want to give a big shout out to Casual Toy Collector and John Simmons. If you haven't heard of Casual Toy Collector, please go out there. Subscribe to his channel. Come watch us on Friday nights and Saturday nights. Uh, you know, they call it the casual bunch because everybody is there. We're talking toys, talking Joe, talking Transformers. Everything is popping. Come out and hang with us. Very cool people. And John Simmons, you're amazing, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't appreciate it more than enough to have this major blood figure. I know exactly how hard it is to go out there because I've been hunting. And I just want to say thank you very much for sending this to me i appreciate it very much and on the box it says pop enjoy major blood bro john right on thank you thank you thank you and then i did get a cobra infantry from hasbro pulse it just dropped in came up in the mail i looked in the box i had a box there and i was like what the heck is this oh dang totally forgot about a pre-order for a cobra infantry it's here very nice. I'm not complaining. You know, can't go wrong with some extra infantry. Very cool. But let's take a look at Co Major Blood here. This is the box art. You got Major Blood on the bottom. G.I. Joe Classified. Cobra Island. Nice artwork here on the side. Very cool. Looks like some sort of backpack. You got a helmet. You got like two rockets. Handgun. And that's a hand cannon right there. Very nice sculpt work. Very nice artwork here on the side. Looks very rough. Looks like he's been through some stuff. Awesome. You got the Cobra Island in the back. Wonder if this is updated at all. You guys check out my old ones. He is number 27. You got his stats on here on the side. Very cool. And you know, since this one is special, I'm gonna do it, folks. I'm gonna open this. Let's take a closer look. Get the handy dandies. Uh, let's go for the bottom instead. Okay. Now this is like my second G.I. Joe opening. Wow. I still got all the others to open up, but this one's special, so, you know, it's getting popped. Wow, look at that, folks. Let me get them out of the box. I'll be right back. Alrighty folks, and we're back, and we have Major Blood here, suited and booted, ready to rock and roll, and I just want to say, wow, these figures are fantastic. Man, they got a lot of detail on there, I mean, you know, the pants and the, the boots, you know, the robotic arm, you know, the, the, the arm gauntlets that he has, he got dog tags on him, he got a helmet, the vest, it all just comes together perfectly, and man, oh man, this thing is very cool. For accessories, he did come with this backpack right here. And it does hold the two mini rockets and the pistol that he comes with. Um, you do get two of these small rockets. And they do fit on the backpack itself, like so. And you get a pistol that also plugs in on the backpack which is very cool and then I kind of figured out not sure if it's really supposed to do this but this pistol fires these rockets maybe because it does plug in like so very cool not too bad propelled uh, rocket launcher hand cannon as for the hand cannon here it comes check that out man I ain't trying to get shot with this thing Tell you, they're just, they're just putting uh, big holes and probably body parts everywhere. You get blasted with this thing. Very cool, nice detailing, sculpt work, and 
the painted revolver gives it a nice touch very awesome now as for major blood himself you know he does hold his weapons perfectly you just put him in and the finger is kind of cut away so it does go inside the trigger which is very cool the backpack will plug right in like so very awesome his helmet is removable nice nice sculpted helmet there awesome the hand cannon will plug into the holster like so very cool look at the, the face detailing on there looks like he's been through some stuff very awesome heck of cool got a nice little stripe right there you got these uh dog tags you can are removable the fallen joes and whatnot nice detailing on the vest here uh, these soft plastics right here that wrap around the body look very good the robotic arm is killer it's pretty awesome uh, maybe a possible prototype for a bat maybe woohoo that'd be awesome but very detailed very cool all the way down to the boots the shin guards are nice and scuffed and whatnot his boots actually have a, a texture to them on the shiny toes I mean this thing is very well done very excellent pretty cool Okay, now for as far as uh, articulation, let me take off the helmet because it does kind of hinder in the back here of how far his head will go. Oh, I dropped out. Let me pull this off. Okay, so as he can look up, you know, let me pull this off too. <laughs> okay, he can look up as far as there. He can look down quite a bit and give you, you know, some kind of, you know, what the heck kind of face. Head will rotate around. His arm will spin in a circle, get you out to here. There is a butterfly in there, which is very, very well done. Awesome. He does have a, a bicep swivel. His elbow is double jointed. Very nice. His hand is on a swivel. And his finger is um, in a pose, but his finger, uh, the trigger finger is cut away, which is very nice. Now, as for the other shoulder, um, it is different. So we will look at this side. This um, shoulder pad will go uh, flex up so that he can get his arm up. Mine's a little tight, but it does go up. And then it, he also has the bicep swivel. It does have a double hinged elbow, which gives you good range and a swivel and this almost makes it look like it has a hinge on there which would have been nice but it's not in there as far as his ab crunch goes it's kind of hindered because of this um you know his uh, chest plate right here it, it does kind of hinder but it does give him an ab crunch works very well and a swivel and then can get you some side to side bends you know get some some ab crunches and uh, the the ab crunch towards the back like he's getting shot boom <laughs> you know pretty cool I, uh, like I said the, the forward does hinder the leg can get you out front pretty good and get you to the back so so get you out for the booyah kick boom he does have a thigh cut right here which works very well leg is also uh, double jointed there, like so. Um, his boot is cut away, so it's nice. His ankle can pivot, spin around, and will give you up and down. So, fairly well articulated. Very good. This is an awesome, awesome character here to have so much. I'm sorry, don't mean to bump the table. Uh, to have so much locomotion on this and a well sculpts very nicely done all 
Alrighty, folks, and I hope that you guys enjoyed the review here on Major Blood. And I just wanted to give a quick shout out to John Simmons and Casual Toy Collector once again because this review wouldn't have happened without you guys. Because it is a bear to find at the Target stores. Everybody knows, you know, you guys are saints, and you know, much gratitude and love to you guys. So, you know, if you haven't yet, please go check them out. Hit the like and subscribe on the channels. And if not, come hang out on Saturdays and Friday, um, Fridays and Saturday nights, where uh, we sit and we chat, chill, and talk toys. So, if you haven't yet, please hit the like and subscribe to the channel. And enjoy. This is Jesse B signing out. Till next time, have a good one.